Good day Pinoy Clicksters and Mixers! Welcome back to the channel and for this video we're going to continue with part 4 of our Marvel Legends series Build a Figure Chod Wave and we are looking at Starjammer Corsair. Let's go! Okay, so we have here from the X-Men lore Starjammer Corsair again Part of the build a figure chod wave specifically number four out of six and number four should contain the right arm of chod on the other side of the box we see corsair illustrated okay so and at the back him posing and you can see he has a sword a saber a gun and alternate hands as well in this particular uh, box crossing fingers as we don't see all these items there's no window in the box okay so but before we go and unbox this let's first look at some hero clicks of Corsair okay I have three and we start off with the very very old Corsair veteran Okay. So I don't know what set this is. Can you guess it in the comments? Okay. And he has a bent sword and a gun as well. Okay. Take a look at that sculpt and that eyes. Fish eye technique. <laughs> Just two dots. <laughs> so Corsair is a I, as far as I know, he doesn't have any Mutant powers, okay, that's why he used uh, swords and guns and other Shi'ar weaponry, okay, so he is a star jammer, a, uh, a space pirate, okay, and I remember one panel in, in the recent X-Men comics because uh, star jammer is the uh, father of the Summers brother. Okay, meaning the father of Cyclops, Havoc, and Vulcan. Okay, all of which are obviously mutants. Okay, so but he is not a mutant as far as I know, as I said. So, uh, Cable is technically his grandson. Okay, Cable being again the the son of uh, Cyclops. <laughs> so, um, the, the family tree of mutants are very complicated. Uh, especially with Cable doing some time jumps. Okay, so basically the, the funny story is that Cable was saying to another character, I forgot who the character is, that uh, coolness skips their, uh, skips a generation in their family. Okay, so he's pertaining to himself as a cool person and then it skips that means cyclops is a it's a bummer <laughs> okay and somebody asked him the person he was talking to uh what's his grandfather okay meaning what's corsair and then of course deadpool said space pirate okay and again that's that's epic that's cool okay so uh very fa uh, funny bit for me uh that particular joke of uh, cable so corsair is the cool grandfather if you ever had one so you can see him donning his uh, costume okay black and red but the bandana is blue for this figure this one is it's red okay so again this is the old old one first uh, appearance of corsair in heroclix form Okay, the second appearance of Corsair is in the, I think, House of Except. Okay. So you can see the difference in scale is really significant. Okay. Small and tall. But let's take a look at his powers. Star Jammers, Pirate and Soldier Keywords. Christopher Summers is the name. Leader of the Swashbuckling Space Pirates or the Star Jammers. Leadership, Probability Control, 
Once per turn, you may reroll the attack roll of a friendly character with the Star Jammer's keyword. Basically, giving him probability control for Star Jammer's. Okay, for 60 points, he has Running Shot, Energy Explosion, ESD, and Enhancement. That makes him a range expert at the beginning and then at the second half of his dial, he becomes a close combat uh, character with charge, blades claws, combat reflexes, and close combat expert. So that's him, X-Men number 1, 2019, significant appearance, giving direction to the space jammers. Go there! Press the like button here. Or wh where is the like button? Down. Comment down. <laughs> and then the next one and the last time we see Corsair is this. In the Rise and Fall set. Still donning the saber and the gun. Oh, by the way, in the House of X, he doesn't carry any weapon. I think he, I think he has a pocket dimension where... He stores his weapon, if I'm not mistaken. So Corsair, Star Jammers, Pirate Soldier keywords. And he has the Salvage trait, which was a new mechanic introduced uh, in Heroclix, which is free. If Corsair occupies or is adjacent to hindering terrain, roll a D6 and place it on this card. Maximum of one. If Corsair has a die on this card, he modifies by plus one the listed combat values matching the number on the die. When he makes an attack, after resolutions, remove the die. So, three to four attack, five damage, six attack and damage. So, it's just a bit unfortunate if you roll one and two, it doesn't give any uh, benefit. So, it could have been anything you roll gives at least a little be benefit. Okay, so he is a sidesteppy, energy explode, toughness outwit guy, and then towards the end, becomes a close combat uh, figure with charge, blades, toughness, and probability control only for 45 points. Uncanny X-Men number 156 is the significance appear significant appearance, and you can see here the members of the Star Jammers with Hebziba, Raza, is that Polaris? Chod and himself. Okay. So those are the three. He doesn't have a bandana here. Okay. So those are the three figures we have of Corsair. Let's go ahead and look at the figure itself. This one is going into our collection. So we don't need the box because we don't have a lot of in our shelf and let's hope everything is complete we have here the saber and the gun and alternate hands very good and then we have the right arm of Chod Okay, good, good. And then the figure itself. Let's see. Take him out. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. I'm loving the details more and more for Marvel Legends. So, good job. For the scope okay take a look at that earring the golden earring both ears nice touch okay the belt is blue but the bandana is red okay let's see tight joints and let's pose him as one of the hero clicks figures uh, of course let's pose him with the latest one okay with the guns and oh no 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 let's Pose him like this so that he can use his gun and saber. Okay, although it's gonna be a very hard pose. Let's try. Uh, head on the side. Uh -huh. 
holding the saber on the right hand, trying to attack someone. Okay, let's see. Okay, there you go. And then on the left hand, holding the pistol. Okay. I would have loved it if he has a... Ah, uh, there! He has a way to put his sword on the side. Okay, so let's probably do that because this pose is a bit hard. <laughs> let's use this pose instead. Okay, let's put the saber on side. Okay, and then put the arm guns right there. Okay, he needs extra guns. Okay. And our feet open a little. Power stance. And that's it. That is Corsair. So, human, but with great athleticism for his age, and most likely a dormant mutant trait. <laughs> Thank you very much everyone for watching this video. I'm going to end it by doing a zoom in of the symbol of Corsair.